Now comes, now comes the part three of the pre-flight check, which is actually checking the plane uh, all around, which starts at the right, at the left engine and fuselage here, looking at the static tube, which is right here, and making sure that's open, and checking the front tire, and making sure there is four finger length between the tire casing and the uh, main engine, uh, four finger width, and then looking at the pitot tube, making sure that's open, and then there is a little vent here, that you can see here, that's a vent for the uh, left wing, and then you can take the rope off. We'll do that last, and then looking at the wing edge, which is fine. Shaking the wing to make sure there is no noises or rattles. These are the ailerons. Make sure there are weights in the ailerons. What are you looking at? These are the weights. Check the wing. Check the ailerons here. Make sure these hinges are in good shape. And. Uh, be okay and it's moving freely this is the flap and look at the uh, tire the screws here and the control make sure it moves it's kind of tight for some reason yeah it moves it should move freely and this is the other part of that And that's the surface is clear. Surface of the wings looks good. The uh, luggage compartment looks good. That's a secondary static event. That's good. And this is the uh, stabilator. That's a stabilizer. The surface is good. And this is the elevator. Make sure it moves smoothly. This is what gets your plane up and down. These are the static wicks at the end of that that get, gets rid of the static. Make sure these screws are okay. Make sure this connection is fine here. And go under and check the elevator cable here. Make sure it's properly tightened. And this is the cable that connects the router. Make sure all the screws are intact. Sure, the under surface is fine and get rid of the wire, I mean the rope. I've been told that many pilots have taken off, at least tried to take off, with the tail rope still attached. So I always made a point to get rid of that rope before I go to the right side of the plane. This is the rudder. Make sure the connections are fine. They seem to be. And it moves. That's a rudder wick. It's for statics. And those are the antennas that are not bent. This is the front antennas there, and the ELT, emergency locator transmitter, and this is the other part of the right elevator, moves nicely. The attachment to the rudder is fine, there's the attachment, all the screws are in good shape. This is the trim tab, as you can see connected to the right elevator and that's the connection there make sure these are good these connections are good the surface is nice and smooth take a good look around I'll come to the right side of the plane 
look at the body look at the wing surface it looks normal and that's the flap those are the hinges for the flap go under look at that that looks good moves good shape this is the aileron the right aileron Are in good place. The hinges are fine. The sink is fine. The other hinge is fine. Moves well. Go around with the wing tip on the right side. Shake it to make sure there is nothing. Wings are attached perfectly. The wing surface, just check the surface. Struts. Okay, well, all the screws are there. This is the uh, steering wheel. All the connections seem to be okay. And this is the your propeller. Check the surface of the propeller for any cracks or chips. Check the fan belt here. Check to make sure birds haven't made any nest here in the air intake area. Check the main landing gear, the tires on both sides. They seem to be okay. Now we are done with the outside pre-flight check. I'll just take the ropes off and then get into the plane.